opela first relay re tla ana bona go tla lata ke bo re ka lo se jebe ipo tsa hore ka ra no amona start coming regular yeah sharp uh, i think we had another training session then yeah. we went to play the game i get the straight straight ball line up i keep forward you believe you know you need to just the show and then you come five minutes late no that time I was early then when I, when I was a star player, I was coming yeah. there. Then Spiderman must take it off. He knows. Take it. He knows Spiderman. How is the one to bring Spiderman? I want to hear all the stories about him. Can't also take this Spiderman? Yeah. Ah, so much. Now she interviewed him, Spiderman. Now look at Pitor. I thought he was the same one. Oh, he was in Pitor. That's what she read with what what the babu waka music guy. That's what I'm talking about. This time I found out. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kick Off Culture, bringing you nothing else but the purest stuff. You're not the fella greatness. Get a boy, and I the new 24, 2024, new year. I'm afraid to bring you great things, fail like a serum gym, Tom, and I'm Tomo. Jaka. Jaka, Matemela. I'm not alone. I'm with my partner in crime. The black of the bear with the sweet of the juice. Of course. Black of the bear Silas Maputa. Ah, what's it? The Lani, the black white. Why not? He doesn't eat pop. I have so many nicknames. I'm famous, though. Yeah, you have to go back to Yeah, a new episode of Kick of Culture for 2024. First one, officially got uh, a Magessi player playing in the NFD. Formerly known now, it's uh, what? Motsepe Foundation. Motsepe Foundation. Uh, uh, that, that was clear up. Now it's Motsepe Foundation. Foundation. Yeah. We got him here. I'm afraid to, we're going to hear the stories. We're going to unfold it out. We're going to pack it out. It just everything out. I'm afraid to. Because we, I know, do you know that we went to the same high school? Yeah, he told me that you were, you were in JSS. Yeah, we went to JSS. I think when I was in JSS when I was going to JSS. He was going out. Oh, he was going out. JSS had a lot of good quality players. He had a lot of quality players. players yeah, which is Ask him. At that time, at, that, at, at, at his prime, actually, there was a lot. Yeah. There was a lot that made it to, to professional Top football. Oh, Top okay. level. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Ah, uh, it's just not only us, but for it to get to Rama came around and shoot out back on my talk behind the scenes to get to the Sandu Sela Noba and Masela and Panora Chain and Panama 2K. Get a board now. Bringing you nothing else but the purest there without the friendly greatness. So let's just unpack it, Jobo. I don't know who you when you started out. Uh, I think it's first juniors. Yeah. Uh, I think that was just, just before Jala Lebu. I mean, our, 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 our former player, our former <laughs> professional <laughs> player, former left back. How did you graduate to go to best juniors after that? Yeah. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank you guys for having me on your show. It's quite and a pleasure. Football, ne? Um, my career started at a place called Bosman Field. Um, not far from where I grew up, Langlachte. At the age of eight, I started playing for a team called Coretti. And then from there, fast forward, I went to Florida Albion, played there for two years, still under 11. And then I relocated to Cosmo City, and then I started playing for Voice Juniors, where they scouted me while I was playing for Florida Albion, under 13, 14. Yeah, that's where that's how I ended up at Voice Juniors. So, 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 at Voice Juniors, I know there was a thing back then. There was a lot of lunches there that don't know football. Did you, were you the one of those players that paid also? I can doubt. Yeah, for, uh, I paid for a season actually, and then you after paid for the, a season, but you were not good and you paid. <laughs> yeah, so you know, if, if you if you if you want something yeah. that bad, you do anything for it. Was it. A so, at that time, yeah. so I paid. I paid for that season for one season that I got there, mm -hmm. and then. From there, I didn't pay, actually. They saw that I'm Jomanum Nath. That's what I do. Yeah, best I'm Jomanum Nath. As soon as they know you're good, I'll yeah. support that. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm Jomanum Nath. Yeah, I know more. No more payment. Let me get a job. If it's like I let me get a job. Where did you get the day your job? Oh, King JJ. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a guy that's, that, that's, that's called Jomoso, Jomoko, Jomosona, actually. Yeah. Um, Very, 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 very powerful player. Mm. And also have a relationship with him, actually. But the name comes from the head, you see also. <laughs> yeah. They call him Jomane when you have this yeah. this type of head, so yeah, that's how the name came. I'm not going to come out of the head, eh? Ah, I didn't know. 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 Yeah, so that's how the name came up, actually, through yeah. the head, guys. So yeah. So how long were you at Vets for? At Vets for two years, under 13. And actually, yeah, two years, and 13, 14. I was there for, for, for two years. What? You know, you know, funny story, because eh? uh, I lived in Mayfair West. So I always, always used to see Jomo working um, at the JSS. Yeah. And we thought JSS get out. I'm going to cross the road. I'm going to cross the road. I'm going to cross the road. It's a long hill before getting to Brixton. Or to Brixton. Then you have to go to Kemper Square. 
Kim Bus Square. Then now it's Mark's Park. Ah, forget. That's a simple to like every day, almost every day. Yeah, it was actually an everyday thing until Friday. Is it? Yeah. yeah, walking from school to the soccer field. Like he says, it was a very long journey. Yo, but it shows that, that football was just any was just everything that you know. It was out of passion, out of the heart. Not a lot of people would have done that, you know. Yeah. I mean, like uh, two days after, my 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 friend over here would have quit. <laughs> like, nah, fuck football. I, I don't, don't want to go there. <laughs> 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 Actually, I went to transport there. Okay, whatever. What did you do? What you don't understand? I remember we were at school, yeah. and then after that, the guys were like, "Hey, there's transport there." Yeah. So I think it was a Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. So to Max Park. I went to Max Park, sharp eye. Walking. Okay. Yeah, I walked. Because yeah. I was straight after training. So my school was in Oakland Park, so it wasn't far. Yeah. When they were like, "Hello, who are they?" Like, "Who's that?" Okay, I can't even try to get right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. And you guys are not gonna believe. Shut. He's very doubting himself. No, no, no. I'm not gonna shut. The coach is like, "You know what? Okay, I'm gonna need you back. I like you. I wanna. I like your left foot. And you do left foot. I want. I like your left foot the way you use it. I want to have the energy. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, shut. So I got home. I was like, okay, I'm about lady. The situation is this: I'm not going to be training only on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Yeah. I got uh, but offered me now to go for another. They didn't know I went for trial, for trial. And then my parents were like, "I went to get dollar, focus on what's there." So, Korea, yeah, yes, yeah, fell in love. I thought, "All right, that's a bit." But okay, here we go. Now I go school. I don't know what's about you, but yeah, I was there, close, close, close. You were there. On that day, the whole thing was just. I don't remember the name. Maybe Jomo. Some hope on that day. Some hope on that day. I thought I was gonna meet you again, and then I after that day, now what? So after that, what happened? Yeah, after that, and then I I was playing there for that. I got a call up at a Vodacom team, which not everyone will know actually how how this happened. So it was off season at Vets when we closed, and then the same coach that coached me at Vets took me to to his to his court like where he stays, El Dorado Park. There's a Vodacom team called Sporting, okay. and then Sporting, we played at Sporting for four games, not even long, and we played against Stars of Africa, but they weren't Stars of Africa at that time. They were Snawane Gunners. Oh, okay. Yeah, they 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 were playing under that status, and then they saw me. And then they gave me a call and invited me actually for for training for a week before they left for Cape Town. Oh. Okay. So after that, I went to South Africa. So, so when you say Cape Town, sorry, 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 sorry. When you say Cape Town, you mean for the Bay Hill? Yeah, for the Bay Hill tournament. That's because I was still young and they yeah, needed players. That's a benchmark for a lot so of it's players. it's a very very big tournament. Sorry. Also, like you said, it's a benchmark for a lot of players. Um, a lot of players came through that tournament. So yeah, that's how it ended up. Oh okay, yeah. and then it was Faruk who gave you a call over there. And then it was Farukan who gave me the call and said, "You know what? Um, please come and and let let's see you for a week." How did the the, the trial go? So it was a whole week. It wasn't actually a week. He, he actually wanted me. It was just for me to to chat with the team that's going to Cape Town. Is it? Yeah. Oh okay, like uh, that was like uh, so you just get into a team, you going to Cape Town. And excited with. Yeah. But I went to the bus, that's what I think that was ish. It was a long trip. But I but I was there. You were there. I was there. And do you remember any players that did Lala know that played or retired or not? Yeah, I played big players, bro. Luther Singh, yeah, Skurus, Kulema Raisani, Kafu, Mantam Dung, yeah. Tibang Pete. Tibang Pete. I played with those guys. Totally pile. Oh. A lot of players played. Well, star started team was. And how far did you guys go? Actually, we 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 got knocked out in the quarterfinals. I don't know. Bay is a tough card. Yeah, it doesn't tough. matter who you bring. It's, it's, tough. It, it, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. Like the cream of the crop. It's all day. They all day. They all day. Yeah, they all day. Ah, quarterfinals not bad, it was. Not bad, but we were actually robbed out because there's a Cape Town team. We played Santos. Santos. Oh, yeah. Santos. Okay. In the quarterfinal at that time. Yeah. Yeah. So you can understand, all right? No? And then after all, what fits? I got stars on La Cruz de la Josie. I fit the stars in La Cruz de la Josie. I spent because I was in grade eleven. I spent another year playing under SAB team of South Africa. And then when I finished school, um, Farouk saw something special in me, and he actually took me to Portugal. That's that's how my Portugal journey started. Actually, I flew to Portugal, five of us. Oh, okay. And luckily, um, when you got that side, I was one of the players that they liked, and I played mostly all the games actually when I got there, um, which was something good, promising. Also, yeah, 
How long were you in Portugal for? For two seasons. Two, seasons. two years. You can say two years. The third year, I actually stayed illegal. <laughs> I stayed illegal for the third year. <laughs> My visa expired, actually. Yeah, it was a bit tough because the agent left us there. And, yeah, he was on his own route. You had nobody to report to? And, and no, I was reporting to Farouk Khan, which he was this side. He couldn't do anything about it, but he helped us at the end. When we got to the airport, coming back for, for, for holidays, for preseason, we paid actually a fine of 10,000 rand. Just for leaving? Just like, for leaving yeah. the country because we stayed there a bit of... We overstayed, actually. Overstayed? Yeah, we overstayed our stay there. Just before, just, for, just before you continue with the stories of Portugal, I want to know, why is it? Good chess says there, there was a lot of good players, yeah. especially Pirates players. And you were that good. You knew what a bunch of people. As long as I'm convinced, I'm not going to get out Or didn't you even think of joining Pirates on one end? As you know, JSS and Orlando Pirates was the thing. It, yeah, it was a thing back yeah, then. Yeah, Orlando it was Pirates. a thing. So you, I can't say I didn't want to go there. You mm-hmm. understand? Because mm-hmm. I, I, I saw the future here in front of me. I saw how they used to play. You know, the, the, my opportunity they, for me to know? be there also. Like I'm pali too. Like I can be there. My heart was there at, at some point. Okay, yeah, fair enough. But you know, God plans. Yeah, yeah, God plans, and look at you now. God's yeah. plans, and today, not bad at all, yeah. yeah. The That's woman in Portugal, how are they? I mean, I've never been to Portugal. Have you been there, bro? <laughs> I've been to Portugal, but I can see on Instagram. I can, I just have a clear <laughs> idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're a soccer player, you're going to Portugal. Ah, uh, Coporuchaelo, how is Portugal? The ladies there, you know? Ah, different crazy. Serious? Ah, different crazy. You know, Portugal, it's it's on its own, in Beautiful country. Beautiful, beautiful country, they're welcoming, especially our color blacks. Yeah. Like, the people love blacks that side, actually. Like, yeah. it's it's there's no racism. That's a good thing. That's right? a good country to, to be at, also. Like, for a footballer, the money is good, the football is good, the level is good. I can't see the women. Yeah, you take you to Lisbon this, uh, later this year. Yeah, I follow Portuguese in Boguinho. Eh? Fala Portuguese in Boguinho. Eh, what do you say? Because it's Linda. Coisa linda. Coisa linda. Coisa linda. Coisa linda. Coisa linda. My girlfriend is beautiful. watching this. You're beautiful. Yeah. Hey, Gordon, you were telling all of them, eh? Yeah, hey, I was I was actually one of the guys amongst the five of us that was good in learning quick. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. I learned quick because I associated myself with a lot of them. Is when it? I got there, I just, I lurched my people. And so said, how old you know, are you at that time? I was 18. So I'm 15. You, you're 18. You're with Euro. Yeah. Which, like, the limelight, yeah, or more number. What did you say, Kala? The poor, the poor woman, Kala? Koiza Lindas. The Koiza Lindas. The Koiza Lindas, yes. The Lindas, yes. You're 18, bro. 18. The Koiza Lindas, yes. Yeah, yeah. How do you end up focusing on football? And yet, limelight, okay, sharp. There is also this lifestyle that you can live. You know, despite the football that you're playing. As a professional, you used to be, I think at that time, you're a professional player. Yeah. Yeah, I was professional, actually, at that time, because... You in Portugal, you're playing at the top levels. Yeah, yeah. Um, firstly, we're young, so us going there, we're focused on just making a name for ourselves, mm, playing football. Mm, that's and where we stayed, the environment also, like it was a quiet place. Like I said to you guys before we started, like yeah. it was. It you can see like the team that's based around there is football. Like they only think about football, going out, partying. That they're, they're not there. Like their minds are not there. But there was moments. Obviously, we are human beings, you know. We, 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 we stole time to ourselves at night. There was a club, night club. It's allowed, bro. Around, you, yeah, you, still, like you guys were still young at that time. Night club around there. So, yeah, we used to chill there with the guys now and then. Just go out. Listen, Lando. Yeah, something. Lando is, bro. Because the Lando is eating. Hey, Lili, man. Hello. 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 Hey, Lili, so, so then you come back to South Africa, your journey then at Portugal ends, uh, you come back to South Africa, uh, where do you go to? I was actually supposed to go back to Portugal, because there was teams interested in me, but then, because of I overstayed my stay that side, it was a bit difficult for me to go back, because those people didn't know what I'm doing in their country, even if you can convince them saying you're playing football, but yeah. the visa speaks that you overstayed the stay where you have to, you know, and okay. those countries are very, 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 like, strict. So, me coming back from Portugal didn't take long to be in the professional level of South Africa because now I have a better CV. Okay. Now at least my name is up there. At least Kente, the Hanyanya, no one. So yeah, and then Pulukwane City was the next journey. Okay. Um, 
I had a trial for a week there. Actually, I was training. Oh, I stay here. Sorry, over Isaac Farouk. Yeah, the same yeah. agent, Nadim Mohammed under okay. Farouk. Which year was this? Uh? This is 20... 16, I think. 2017, 16, eh? Yeah, 2016, so 17. Just around those. Oh, yeah, okay. around that time, 2016-17. Then I signed my first professional contract on this side, actually. And who do you call first? I went to Mkopa and I went to Mkopa I went to Mkopa after I signed my contract just to... Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for everything. Yeah. 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 It was a great yeah. feeling, dog. Like signing for a PSL team at that age. Promising. How was your journey at uh, Pulukwane? For the first six months, over the moon. Mm. Like top, 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 yeah. top. Like I'm enjoying my football. I'm playing. And you're playing at home, man. I'm you're playing, playing at home, you know. Oh, yeah, it's my home time. So I'm from Mpopo, dog. You see, the support is there from my family. Yeah. I'm enjoying everything. I'm captain of the team, of MDC team, when I'm not at the top level. And then, ish. Then the turnaround came when I bought a car. My first car. Yeah, before we get to the car, we want to get there. I want to know the coach of that one. Who's the coach? Coach. Kululia. He is the one that gave you the contract. He's the one that gave me the contract. Then so how did your game. first PSL debut, you know? Which team did you play against? I played against Vets. Played against my first, My first debut, like, yeah. Vets, yeah. Yo. At Vets, half past seven at night. Hey. Top game. Hey, well, I hope all hey. Yeah, I have to remember, because I had a top game. Like, is it? that's where, that's where I started playing from there. That was your benchmark yeah, going forward. Yeah, that's my benchmark going forward. Like, promising. It looks promising still now. Is but there, there, at that moment, I thought I'm going to Chiefs, even. I was that Chiefs, man. Yeah? Oh, but a trophy again. Sky and cheese. No, but a trophy again. He couldn't even. But that is retires. He wants a trophy. Yeah. Yeah. Chiefs. Is Chiefs the team that you ultimately want to play for? It's actually one of the teams that's that, that, that's where I'm looking for. We could just yeah. say the big three. The big three are two Chiefs out of them also. Yeah. Yeah. Suit you, eh? I mean, there's Kevin Johnson, Johnson now, yeah. who like, like your style of play. Yeah, you suit Kevin yeah, Johnson. Yeah, really like yeah. Kevin Johnson thing. But a problem about the trophy. Yeah. I actually supported Chiefs when I was young, but now I'm a Pirates fan. Obviously, oh, yeah, so. you took up his brother. Actually, when I was, I was still young. Actually, when I changed, because yeah. there was a time when Chiefs was losing, and they, oh, you know, right. I don't like losing. Ah, it's part of your Yeah, they're they doing the same thing now, boss. Aren't they? Aren't they, dog? He's old. The reason why I want to go to Chiefs, I want to help them. Okay, you team. want to help it? I, I think, think you have the qualities. On yeah. a serious note, I think if people can give you a time, because I've known you since you were a young boy, now, yeah. um, you don't remember, well, even though we were playing amateur football, how I knew that this boy is going to go somewhere. Obviously, I'm older than you. There was times when we were playing and we were leading about three now. Yeah. And they would put you in. The kid would get to you. Yeah. The confidence was there. Such a young boy. And I was telling your brother, because I played with your brother, Gary, your brother can make it in football. That is when I saw uh, this guy. He, he can, can definitely, definitely make it. Yeah, yeah. that's what I I mean, there are players now at Chiefs. There are players. No, no, saying, cool. there are yeah, I'm not saying players. they ain't there. They aren't players. They're top But players. with his quality, if, if, if like, Joe, my bad, Joe, my Give him time. Give him two bads. So take us through your first PSO goal. Against Super Sport United, against, against Super Ronan Sport Williams. Williams. Yeah. The current yeah. number one. Yeah. Yeah. The current number one. The current number one. Oh, Ivory, what Ivory Coast? The Monomokori. Like, like that. Like, everybody can say our score against it. We yeah. have, yeah. like, you honestly, uh, despite whatever happened in, in the past, you have something to celebrate. Great feeling, great feeling. You know, great feeling. That's a great, great feeling. Moments. Scoring against uh, the number one currently now. He was top at that time also. And Super Sport was a top team also. Yeah, top team. yeah, they had top players, bro, like Dean Furman's, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, was coming up, up you know, Tuso Palace coming, you know. Ah, and that time we were facing relegation as Polokwane City there. So, ah. so if we had lost that game, there was high possibility for us to go La back bye. to the NFT. So, you mentioned scoring the equalizer. The equalizer two, two, two. Two. At, at what did the coach say to you? I was warming up actually at the back of, 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 of the boards there. So, I didn't understand he was calling me. He was saying, come, come. So I'm, I'm looking now. Who's he calling this guy? <laughs> he says, come, come. And his English I'm is looking. not that good. His English is not that good. <laughs> so for, for me to see he's calling me, he done this. You. Oh, 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 come, oh, come. I don't understand. You should have done Chomo, come, come. Hey, but, but I ran. I ran, I ran. I ran. To, to the line. He gave me some instructions. Yeah, you know, as a footballer, you take the instructions. But when I was on the field, yeah, I just done my own things. And yeah. and at that moment, I when I scored also, great. So, after scoring that goal, uh, now people start noticing 
Hey, there's this guy called Tepo Matsumela, aka Job. Yeah. Hey, how does that get you? Now, maybe go for local and I'll get a more of the North Seba. Besides that, they have more put on me like a Monday, so cause old Nobula. So cause old Nobula, no, 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 yeah, that's that's after my goal, so that also put me in the limelight worse. Like, yeah. so I'm walking in the malls. People knew me, but now they really knew me. Like, All okay, right. there's you now. Like, you can see him. Yeah, I'm more now. I walk a mulung, but yeah.